Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Bark Speeder Escape Set from 2024 with three minifigures, four if you want to count little Grogu there. Uh, so let's start with those first and then we'll take a look at the Bark Speeder build. So the first minifigure is Keller and Beck, which I think will be the reason why a lot of people is going to want to buy this set. But of course the build itself is also pretty good too, but this will probably this will probably be the main draw, which I love this design. I haven't gotten a Jedi minifigure in so long, strangely. Um, like I think the last one I got was what Luke Skywalker, but like this is a new Jedi that I haven't gotten, so this is awesome to get. I love the robe design. You can see like a bit of a gold shine on there, like you could sort of see that. I really like how that looks, and just the overall robe color looks awesome. Um, you can see this cape, which is the brown cape, which is the newer style, thankfully, which it's the softer style. Um, you can see more of that gold lining there, which that looks awesome. Then the face print as well, which is new and exclusive to this character. And then he has two um, lightsabers with the blue and the green, which that's really nice and very accurate to what we see in the Mandalorian season. Next up, we have the 501st Clone Trooper, which we have two of in the set. Um, this is the same design as the one from the 2020 Battle Pack, except now it has the little extra helmet holes, which once again is kind of weirdly placed. And the helmet itself is, that's what looks the most different, but the printing is exactly the same on the torso, which is very nice. I love the design of that. And the face print underneath is the same one that they've been using as well since 2020. But yeah, um, the helmet holes, I still don't like them. Like even the helmet itself just looks fatter. Like why? I don't know why it looks strangely fatter. Just put them side to side. It just looks bigger here. And then it's just these little weird thingies here, which they don't, they don't even have like accessories. So like you can't even put the stuff in the accessory holes. So it's kind of weird. Like I don't see why they can't just use the old mold if you're not gonna have anything to go with it so like i don't know last we have little grogu or baby yoda i don't know what you guys call it now but um yeah awesome figure once again um i feel like we should actually get a new mold though because like it's just uses the normal baby body piece and then of course the head which i like the head but like i feel like the body should be a bit more covered up and like thicker because like his is more of like a flowing robe rather than like his hand sticking out like that all the time but like it's still a pretty decent grogu design it's something we've been getting since 2020. starting with the builds let's take a look at grogu's little pram or his little hover stroller thing which is an awesome little build i really love how this turned out um, of course there's that spot for grogu right there um, i like that color scheme as well that looks really nice um only thing i don't like is that i feel like it's very front heavy put it on the ground you can see uh, it's very easy to tip forward um, like it kind of just falls it's very you know it's just the stand is all the way in the back which is actually this little clear tile which is something that they give us an additional piece that you can add like if you want to put grogu separately from the speeder yeah, with that speeder you can see you just take off that tile and then you just plop it onto that little thing there and then there you go you can have them connect to the speeder. it follows the much longer style design for the bark speeders that they've been doing since we saw it in the 501st battle pack i'm pretty sure which it's actually i really like how they do these bark speeders now i really like how it looks it's very sleek um starting off at the front i guess we have two little stud shooters as well as these little ski pieces which look pretty good it's just they're kind of easy to fall off they're very they feel very fragile but i feel like if you just pressed in too much it would be it would kind of fall apart but that that's okay um over here we have this little slope area which that yeah, looks really good like they they always use this piece now for the bark speeders so i don't even know what i'm saying at this point um what else here oh um this little driver's seat where you can have keller and beck sit on which that looks pretty nice and then you can see it as well as the hinges where they connect to the uh, sidecar over here we have more of those little ski pieces on the engine side we have more of these tiles as well um which have stickers on them which is for the engine but yeah you can sort of see how that looks there just plop that on the side right there um looking at the back you can see the engine which looks pretty good i like the shaping of this speeder but yeah um once again looking at the sidecar um you can see how it's connected to the little um what's called hinges or whatever they're called but yeah you can disconnect that separately and that's how that looks by the way um and then you can see the sidecar here which looks pretty good um they have these little this this little thing in front which doesn't really do anything but i like how that looks i guess it's like a bumper um and then you have like this little ski piece right here which is clipped on so it's not it doesn't fall off as easily um and i really like how they did this little this little thing on the back like i don't know it just looks really good but yeah I think that's it for the build of the speeder. Once again, just put those two together and then you have your speeder. And then lastly is this little lamp, which awesome. I love the lamp. Like it actually looks pretty good, strangely. Like I wanna see more like 
playset stuff for Star Wars, honestly. Like, I want to see, like, a Jedi Temple. That would be a really awesome set to get. But, yeah, this is a nice-looking lamppost. I like the design of the build. It's very simple. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. There's not really much else to see with it. But, yeah, that is it for all the builds. Of the yeah, set. overall, I think this is a pretty awesome set. I love the design of the Bark Speeder and that little sidecar, which is really cute as well. And I think all the minifigures are also pretty good. Like, they make sense for the scene that they're in. And I also like this little little lamp thing here, which, I mean, probably doesn't really add on too much, but it just looks pretty good as well. And I think the only problem would be really is that the 501st Troopers have, like, the helmet, the weird helmet, which, I, I don't know. They, like, they've already made a really good mold. Like, you can see right here, a few years ago, I don't see why you can't just reuse that helmet. Like, I don't see why. I feel like it would cost more to just print this again with a new piece, right? Like, did they, did they like, just full-on get rid of the old mold? Because I prefer this, honestly. Like, since there's no accessories to put on it, it just looks weird. And, like, I don't know. It just doesn't look great as it used to. Like, I feel like they already perfected it. I don't see why you have to have this one unless you're gonna give them the accessory holes, which, or unless you're gonna give them the accessories to put on the holes. So like, I don't really see the point of that. But um, yeah, that's really my only complaint. But yeah, everything else I think is pretty good. So um, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.